Well, you, you do have Paul, right? And so he's an unsympathetic, even a hostile source at the time of his conversion experience. So if all of a sudden he said that Jesus appeared to him and he becomes a Christian, um, that's, that's big. That, that is a lot different than, let's say, you know, someone who's been a Christian all along says that Jesus appeared to him. If an enemy, a sworn enemy of Christianity, says that Jesus appeared to him and he becomes a Christian, and he's not doing it out of self-interest. In fact, he's doing it to a point where he begins to endure great persecution and is even martyred as a Christian. Well, that shows that he really believes it. So we have multiple sources, um, like, for example, uh, Luke, Tertullian, John, Dionysus of Corinth, Origen, Polycarp, Ignatius, and Clement of Rome. All of these uh, mention how the disciples were willing to suffer and did, can suffer, did suffer continuously for their gospel proclamation. And we know even from some of these sources that a few of the disciples, at least a few of them, died as martyrs, like Peter, James, the brother of Jesus, and Paul. Um, we, we, we can be very confident, at least for those three, and then we, we can be fairly confident for some others, but very confident for Peter, James, and Paul. But we certainly know that all of the disciples of Jesus suffered terribly and continuously for their gospel proclamation. And this strongly suggests that they honestly believed what they were saying, because liars make poor martyrs. Um, right. you, you don't continue to suffer for something that you know is false. Right. And maybe one or two would, but not everyone.